All right, everyone, this is Justin Williams Savoy, and I am making a quick video. I've been waiting for a package in the mail for a while, and I received this in the mail. Very interesting. I've been interested in this uh, tarot deck for quite some time since I first saw it at a metaphysical bookstore in Ashland, Oregon. I like it a lot because it has such a Russian influence. You can see even in the background, there are Orthodox churches. And um, this is called the Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. And I will show you guys more of this at a later time. It's a very short video. I just wanted to make some content today, but it's the complete deck of 78 cards by the Russian artist Yuri Shakov, renowned for lacquer miniatures and flawless depictions of Russian folk and fairy tales. The miniature paintings in stunning color are framed within an oval border against a black field and are reminiscent of imperial Fabergé eggs. The Russian tarot of St. Petersburg is a treasure of symbolism combined with the richness of superb art. So I like a lot of Russian art and iconography um, oftentimes I use a Russian prayer book for my prayers. Um, and like I said, I've loved this mostly, I think because it has like an Orthodox feel to it. Um, I don't really know how to further explain or elaborate upon that, but let's just take a look. Uh, here is this book booklet that came with it. And then here are, here's the back of these cards. Here's a little bit about the artist. Renowned Russian artist famous for lacquer miniatures and flawless depictions of Russian folk art and fairy tales, Yuri Shakov received his art education in Moscow and Pelk and his work is exhibited in private collections and many museums, including the Hermitage uh, Museum in St. Petersburg. The Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg was Yuri Shakov's final commission prior to his untimely death on March 10th, 1989. The Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg is dedicated to Leo Nazda, U.S. Game Systems Incorporated. So a little bit about the artist. I'll show you guys some of these cards. It's the Fool. The Magician, the High Priestess, Empress, the Emperor. I haven't even looked at all of these yet, so I can't wait. Uh, the Hierophant, love that. The Lovers, The Chariot, Strength, The Hermit. So much of this reminds me of both Russian folk art and iconography for sure, especially looking at the cherubim and seraphim around this Wheel of Fortune. Justice, the hanged man, death, temperance, love that, it looks like an archangel there, the devil, the falling tower. Star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world, king of swords, queen of swords, knight of swords, Page of Swords, 
Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Eight of Swords. Seven of Swords. Six of Swords. Five of Swords. Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Two of Swords. Ace of Swords. King of Clubs. Queen of Clubs. Knight of Clubs. Page of Clubs. Ten of Clubs. Nine of Clubs. Eight of Clubs. Seven of Clubs. Six of Clubs. Five of Clubs. Four of Clubs. Three of Clubs. Two of Clubs. Ace of Clubs. King of Cups. Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. Page of Cups. Ten of Cups. Nine of Cups. Eight of Cups. Seven of Cups. Six of Cups. Five of Cups. Four of Cups. Three of Cups. Two of Cups. Ace of Cups. King of Coins. Queen of Coins. Knight of Coins. Page of Coins. Ten of Coins. Nine of Coins. Eight of Coins. Seven of Coins. Six of Coins. Five of Coins. Four of Coins. Three of Coins. Two of Coins. Ace of Coins. And there you have it, everyone. The Russian Tarot of St. Petersburg. Looks like a very, very interesting deck. I'm looking forward to working with this deck. Gonna sage it and put it on my altar next to my Russian prayer book. Very interesting, lovely art. I look forward to exploring it more. And um, now I'm going to go and have dinner on this first Friday of June. My children um, are here with me and uh, I'm looking forward to spending time with them and my lovely girlfriend, Autumn. So I'll be making more videos very, very soon. Thank you so much. Justin Williams Savoy. Peace.